there. Specifically, if you are interested in how internet is shaping our lives as well as how online video is changing as far as uh, uh, India is concerned. This, this is the global scenario, about 7.5 billion uh, overall population. You have about 55% urbanization. 53% people are on internet already. There is about 3.1 billion active social media users. And, and what you see as the figure of 2.9 billion is people who access social, social media through mobile phones. So what you can see is more and more people are moving on, as we'll see now, more and more people are moving on to social media through mobile phones. So the growth, this is 18 versus 17. 18 January versus 17 January. So about 7% increase globally in, in the in internet users and about 13% on the active media, uh, social media users and about unique mobile users about 4% which is as good as 218 million. So this is how the global landscape is changing. The app usage, the average number of apps which are on a mobile phone is about 80. Okay? People install and uninstall, that keeps on happening, but it's a, it's a huge number because end of the day, the engagement is only with few apps. But look at the large number of apps that they experiment with. And the average number of apps that they use, average again per month, and that could be only for a couple of minutes and then getting disinterested or whatever, or, or working on it for hours during the day, which is like what they do on Facebook or Twitter or any other such media. That's about 40. The time spent using native mobile app, the app which is already in your mobile phone versus the web browser, time comparison is seven times of that. Seven is to one. And the frequency of native app usage versus mobile web browser. So uh, going through the app or accessing the same information through the browser. So that frequency is 13 is to 1. So look at that. So this proves that a lot of, lot, lot of stuff is happening on the app side. More and more apps people are experimenting with, despite of their staying engaged with only a couple of them. And the browser versus the app, it's about seven times the time spent and frequency of visiting, of engaging about 13 times. Uh, this is, th that was a global landscape. Now zoning into India, about 1.3 billion population, 462 million.
stories happen. We are thinking, how does that happen? Of course, there is going to be evolution and how things are going to move. Who wondered just a week back that somebody is going to put a car in this space and you will see a car driving around the moon? What, is, what time the data is going to come up, how it is going to be shown to you, a lot of stuff is going to be on technology and it is technology of course. Only that story part is what is going to be put in there, that's everything what is going to churn out is going to be based on technology. So that technology, look at the graph, the x-axis is the number of years and the y-axis shows how much shift is happening in technology. So you can see that for every one year there is about you know, a mega jump which is happening in technology. So every day new things are going to come and maybe by the time we will get used to the artificial intelligence and, and the augmented reality, something new is going to come up and that's not far away. So you can expect things moving very fast. The, the new behavior which is emerging currently, so that is what is going to happen in the future. Now let's step back again and look at how the new behavior which is emerging. So one figure for all those uh, friends here and colleagues here who are sitting from the media side, you should look at the first one. So out of the overall people who are online, connected on internet, about 460 million, give or, give or take a few couple of millions here and there, because different sources, different figures, 15% of them, the traditional TV is already lost. They are no longer watching on traditional it, 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 it's what called uh, cord cutting phenomena. It's already happening in various other countries. It's happening here. So go back and see. So many of us have already cut the cord. They don't watch their TV on the sat on the on the regular platforms, which is the satellite or the cable. They're watching the TV and watching their online video online now. And and uh, that could be through the connected fire sticks or the boxes or just streaming or just on a uh, iPad or a tab or, or even on a mobile phone. 15% is about uh, 60 to 70 million people. That's a big number. You already lost them. And this shift is happening very fast. So you'll see that the youngsters, especially youngsters in, in India, are already online. They don't go to the traditional TV until unless it's being streamed. They watch because they want to watch what they want to watch at that point of time. So the convenience and the availability of content is huge. Why should I I program my life around your prime time? It's prime time. I will make my own prime time when I, I feel you know uh, feel like watching that program. So that's one big number. Uh, this, these are the other numbers which show you that about 78 million online content streamed on TV. They actually streaming on TV. Depends on. Uh, phone to TV, screen mirroring, boxes available, or through the, the dongles and the fire sticks or various other things, but the streaming is happening such a large number. In the internet, you are watching video online, 83 million and growing. And this gives you how many of them, so watch online video every day, 33%. Now, this is not a evolved phenomena anymore. It's not that, you know, te technically people are evolved, early adapters. No, it's no longer early adapters. So, uh, one of my favorite examples is go to a high-rise office building and don't use the elevator. Walk down the stairs and you'll see a lot of support staff sitting out there and watching videos. And half of them are actually connected online, more than half of them. Earlier they used to borrow the content from the people who are selling the pirated content. No longer, because content is available and of every kind and every form or genre and it's available for free. So why should they go? And of course, thanks to the telcos, the, the, the data has become more affordable, the quality has improved, so why would they go to and get it downloaded first and then connect and watch? So this is what is happening. These are the emerging trends as of we see now and, and not that they're not going to change trends like the attention span, as they say, 
in, in the area of technology and the way things are changing, the trends, are also, ha, trends also have short life. But these are the trends. So rise of social video, especially on Facebook. Uh, who's going to be the, the biggest broadcaster of tomorrow? You don't know. Who's maybe a social media company or a tech giant will emerge as against the traditional broadcasters, or maybe one will buy the other. Which one? You don't know. From the first category to the second, or the second to the first. But this is what is happening as of now. Mobile data used more than Wi-Fi? Yes. In India, the way, uh, and I was talking to uh, uh, my senior colleague uh, earlier, the way Reliance Geo has made it a mass phenomena, it's, a, it's, a, it's one thing which is, you know, OK, what we can say is that the entire society and the consumption of media or consumption of online stuff has been put on an irreversible path. No longer people are going to go back to what we used to do earlier. Uh, but the they shift has happened. So more and more mobile data rather than Wi-Fi. Women are more avid users. So avid means more involved. The number, if you see, of videos being watched by more men, but if you see the avid, the, the, the depth, that's more women. Hindi videos are most watched ones. And vernacular is definitely going to drive it, especially in India. And we've seen that happening in TV. It's going to happen online. Comedy entertainment, most popular genre, as they call it, ABCD of, of uh, and they have the, the religion and the cricket and comedy. Weekday versus weekend. So this is something which is very different for what is happening globally. Most of the viewing is happening weekday when we are supposed to work, but that's a different story. And average money spent on subscription, now that is where we are the, the you know, we have a totally different approach, but that comes from the fact that the TV ARPU in this country is the lowest in the world. It's about 3 to $4. While in US, you have about 80 to 90 $100. Europe, also 50 60 $70. And even in Africa, it's $20 plus. But in India, 3 to 4 $5, and you want 400 500 channels. So that comes from a different fact, because the way we are structured, uh, the broadcasting industry needs to do something about it. Yes, they know. They've been trying to. but haven't been so successful as of now. But that's what it is. That's why we are like, everything we want is for free, because we don't want to pay for subscription. And that's where the issue is. So, more, so we'll be more AWARD rather than SWARD. So AWARD is advertising-based video on demand, where I am, OK, I don't bother. Throw as many ads as you can, but don't charge me. But a SWARD is subscription-based, where I don't want to be interrupted. I want an unadulterated entertainment. And, and I will pay for it. That's subscription-based video on demand. So we are evolving more like a advertising video on demand country rather than subscription-based content. Oh, sorry. And then, of course, the short, crisp videos perform better uh, in terms of numbers. The long-duration movies and TV shows are picking slowly and gradually, but the phenomena is that you want a larger screen. So the sh smaller screen for shorter videos, snacking, as we call it, and the larger screen for more evolved. But both connected, that's where the world is moving and India is moving. Vernacular, as I said, is set to outnumber English. It is happening on, as we speak, because the, it, it is, it, we have already seen that happening in TV. So this is going to be no different. The platform and the pipe from a cable has changed to online pipe. But everything else remains the same. So vernacular, we want to see the entertainment in our own language to start with. And then, of course, we can shift to any other language. So vernacular is going to drive the overall ad spends on online video are on rise. Uh, in the morning, it was being discussed that Anurag was saying that most of, this, most of the ad revenues are being taken by Facebook and Google, of course, yes. But then slowly and gradually, this, this part of the pie or this piece of pie is also going to increase. So online video and the advertising on online video is also going to increase gradually. Rise and rise of regional content, which is very similar to what we are saying on vernacular. And the fertile Indian market, it's growing 460 and growing. Uh, the, the effort out there by most of the telcos is how to get more and more people online, because voice has become a commodity. So the business lies in more and more data consumption. So they want more and more people, not only from the cities and smaller towns, also from the rural area to get online and get used to it. And there is already a discussion of having a light version of Facebook 
for a certain kind of a people so that they get on Facebook and they get on online. So more and more people will get online and 460 is the number which is waiting to shoot up in the next couple of years. And OTT viewers is definitely increasing phenomenally. More and more people are shifting on to online viewing rather than sitting on that. The number is still, still small if you look at the overall size of TV viewing, but it is growing much faster. And yes, it is being used as a second screen, but as we discussed in the earlier part of the discussion, about 15% people, which is about roughly about 70 million plus, have already shifted. And that's happening in India. 70 million is not a small number. 70 million people are not watching the TV on a traditional TV. They're watching the TV on, on an online connected device. And that could be a mobile phone, a pad, or, or even a stream TV which streams. This is something that I wanted to share uh, with, with those who are from the news business. So the largest news channel, about 27 million individuals, that is the kind of reach we are talking about. 24 million is the next one, 22 million. There could be a number here, there are a couple of millions, but don't go by that because what the, but the message is right at the bottom, Daily Hunt, which is an online app, has got 155 million installs. Even if 50% people are, are visiting that, even if 20, 25% people are visiting that, compare it with the largest news channel, which is on TV. So you will get the, get the picture where it is going. This, this is another part of the world where you can see the, the news viewing on TV and news viewing online. 57% 2016 coming down to 50% in 2017. This is US. And 35% or 33% sorry going on to 43% online and both the lines are converging and somewhere they're going to meet in a year or two. And I think this is going to be the year, if not, maybe the next year. So more people will gradually be watching online news rather than going to TV and watching their news. This is happening there. You're not far away. The way we've got used to passing on videos to each other, and it's happening across all strata of our society, and WhatsApp has become like a very common uh, uh, tool which everybody loves to use and it's not only for contacting people also for information sharing and passing on the videos and various stuff that you get we are not far away from this one this is the new normal we all know the news in shots is really picking up huge number people have got used to that they are they they are reading their news they're snacking on the news and if they want a deeper dive they go to one of the media but then on the go how to connect the, the books that we read, this is getting the new normal, and this is now going to be the new, new normal, where, you know, as, as I was mentioning earlier, the augmented reality, the virtual reality, all they are going to play, and the devices will become different, and this, of course, is the new normal of those people. This is the new normal of, of our news, where more and more stuff is getting the, uh, consumed through the through Twitter or Flipboard or, or News in Shorts or Daily Hunt, and you still have that paper which comes to your doorstep. Many of us have, but many of them don't read that. I don't, you don't consume your news from there anymore as much as you consume it on the go from these things. So the evolution, how it is going to affect, just look at this. And this is also connecting to the earlier thing that I said, digital is dead or digital is reborn every day. The first digital which happened is give them news in shots, in text form. Don't give them long long articles, only a few lines. So that was text. And then, okay, let's make it a little interesting, add a photo. And now, it's led by video. Same thing, it's evolving so fast in a year, year and a half. And that means if I will get all my news in shots and I will get the videos, crispy small videos, which I really want to see what happened, and on the go, then will I go back to my TV to watch that news? Maybe not. And do you think if this one will become vernacular and if it will be easy to use, do you think the regional uh, uh, papers or regional channels will not come under challenge? Of course, yes. Right? So the idea is that things are changing fast. The user behavior, the technology adaption is changing very fast. Faster than we can imagine. People are so comfortable now with transferring money and all that stuff that we have seen and various other things, and I thought money was the only area where they would not want to do it online, but look at the way it is happening. So this is nothing as compared to that. 
So the, the disruption is happening faster than we can imagine and I am not sure if all of us are ready for that. So the final content will remain the king because of course you are going to generate the content. So if you are a media house or a publisher, content is going to remain the king. But, but in a, it, it's, it's, it's going to remain in the center, but the platforms will evolve. The platforms will evolve and how do they consume that same content is going to be very important because if you are not logged in to the new platforms and to the new technology, then your content slowly and slowly, even if it is good, will start, the distribution will start fading out because distribution is the name of the game. If you're not connected through all those devices and platforms, people will not be able to reach you. The more and more people not reaching you, you will fade away from the public memory. So that's important for all the, uh, all the friends and the colleagues who are from that industry, from news industry. This is, this is super crucial. Yes, you are always going to be in the center, the content. But how people will reach you is going to be, is changing already. And if you don't move along with uh, the things and that, that pace, uh, you lose out very fast. And that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kapoor.